Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a session whereby we are going to learn and interact together. We are going to have our mathematics from 1, lesson 23, and uh, our topic today will be on algebraic expressions, and at the subtopic, uh, factorizing by grouping. Your tutor will be me, uh, Mr. Gerald, and uh, I welcome you in our lesson. We are going to have the following lesson objectives, whereby by the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve a given problem uh, by factorization. Let us now get deep into the um, problems. In the previous lecture, we dealt with the factorization of such expressions as bx plus b is equal to b into x plus 1. That is why we are getting uh, just a common factor. Then here you are required to factorize the following expressions, as you can see from our screen. What we are saying in 1, 2, and 3, there is no common factor, as you can see. There is no common factor. Uh, so, um, if the terms of the expressions x plus b plus a plus bx are taken pairwise, for instance, ax plus a and bx plus b, then each pair has a got a common factor. We can thus factorize the expressions. Um, let us now get uh, actually now into the factorizing itself, whereby we've gi been given this problem, 3ab plus 2b plus 3ca plus 2c. Uh, when we are solving it here, we are going first to group uh, them. So in our first e expression, that is 3a plus 2b, we can factor out b. So when we shall factor out b, we are going to remain with 3a plus 2. And on our second part of it, we have got 3ca plus 2c. So the common factor there is c. So we are going to factor c outside uh, to remain with 3a plus 2. Um, what we normally do from there, actually we get the factors which are outside. Remember, whatever is in the bracket is the same. So we just take only one of them. So that is why we are having the A plus 2, uh, B plus C. Uh, let us look at our second example. We are, we, are giving, uh, we are given A, B plus B, C minus A minus C. On the solution part of it, we are going to uh, factor first on the first pair, that is B into brackets a plus c minus 1 is a common factor between a and c so we're going to uh, uh, have a plus c remember here something to note is about the signs and uh, on our previous lessons we said that a negative sign modified by a negative sign you're going to get a positive positive sign a positive sign modified by a negative sign is a negative sign so actually uh, if you have not learned about the signs on our pre previous lessons I would encourage you, uh, you look at our previous lessons such that you'll understand more about the signs. Um, uh, we are going in, al in algebra, as in arithmetic, fractions can be added and subtracted by finding the LCM of the denominator. Let us look at the following expression. Uh, we are being required to express each of the following as a single fraction. So here, what you normally do, you just look, uh, consider the LCM, that is the least common mode of the denominators and in our case our denominators are 2 4 and 5 uh, if we calculate the LCM of the same we are going to get 20 so what you normally do you get 20 divided by 2 so uh, when you get 20 divided by 2 you are going to get 10 so the first expression we're going to get 10 you multiply by everything there that is x minus 1 on our uh, second part whereby the denominator is 4 you're going to get our LCM that is 20 you divide by 4 uh, to get 5 so you multiply ev everything by 5 and you also do the same to our last part that is the 20 divided by 5 to get 4 then you multiply 8 by 4 um, then you add uh, uh, you add all everything there uh, once you multiply remember there are some students who normally ignore um, you know the um the lcm once they are through with the addition that one is very wrong actually you sh it should remain up to the end so when you are going to add the following you are going to get 19x over 20. let us look at another uh, uh example whereby you've been given an expression you are required to express it as a single fraction we're just going to do the same as we have done to get the lcm and the lcm between b and a the lcm is a b or b a it can be either so you divide the first part, that is a minus b over b, you divide by b a to get a. So you multiply everything uh, by a, that is a into a plus b. And uh, when you get the LCM of, um, we have said the LCM is a b. So we, we divide a b divided by a to get b, and you multiply everything by b. I eventually you are going to get, uh, actually I eventually you are going to group the like terms together. Then um, uh, remember I have said that the, the LCM must remain at the end of the at the end of everything so that's why we're having a squared minus b um 
uh, b squared over a um a b having said that uh, you are required to factorize each of the following as part of your activity uh, as you can see from our screen that is nx minus 2n plus 3 mx minus 6m here you're just going to follow the procedures that you have done our previous um lessons for more reference in this um lesson you can refer to klb secondary students um mathematics students book four which is the fourth edition uh which has been certified by kenya literature bureau and to get this lesson and many more of our enjoyable mathematics lesson you can send us an sms through the number that is on our screen or you subscribe to our youtube channel which is the limu tv or our facebook page which is also limu tv or you tweet us at limu tv uh, underscore ke let us subscribe to all these channels and we shall get more of our enjoyable mathematics lessons thank you